Oh, look. So Wacom just sent me their newest Wacom Cintiq 16, and I've heard great things about this. I thought today we could unbox it, see all the features, and then I can join you guys something. Oh, and also, I just got a brand new mic, so you can hear an improvement in the sound quality, and I think it's... What? Milo, look, another one. Oh. Now I have two. Well, it looks like I can give one away at the very end of the video. Hey, that one's for me. Buddy, no, this one's for the audience. Audience, audience. Okay, let's just get into it. Bam. Yeah, so this is the Wacom Cintiq 16 and it just came out brand new in January. And there are so many choices to choose from now. You know, there's so many tablets because digital art and the internet is blossoming, but I feel like Wacom is the most recognizable brand. And I have done a review for them before on their Mobile Studio Pro, which retails for about two to $3,000, which is kind of expensive. And a lot of people can't afford that. But this one is $650, which is significantly more affordable. And so let's get into it. Here we go. Ooh, nice clean box. Uh, oh, this is the reveal. Ready, guys? What? Oh, a black box. What a reveal. Beautiful, look at that. If companies can organize well, then I am a happy customer. Here is the actual grand review. Whoa, shiny. So this is the Wacom pen right here. We have our basic power cables and wires. We have the Cintiq itself. And we have the pen. Just an FYI, this isn't a mobile computer. Um, this is a tablet screen where you can connect it to your computer and you can draw on top of it and the image shows on the screen. Also, Wacom sent me a stand that comes with the Zintiq, but it's sold separately. So we're gonna take a minute real quick to set that up. Wow, I'm such a masculine man. Screwing yeah. screws. I, I didn't know this before, but the Cintiq also has its own stand built inside the Cintiq. This is about the height that it goes on, right here. But if you want something higher and a more adjustable height, then you would probably get the stand, which goes all the way up like that. That would be my preferred height, I think, right there. Just a quick info for you guys. Even though it's a Wacom Cintiq 16, the screen size is 15.6 inches. Oh my gosh, I just pulled something. Whoa, check that out. What? So I just found this out. This little nub thing in here is for your pen. You plug that in and you put your pen and it holds your pen. That's super awesome. <gasps> now it's connected. Ooh, check this out. Oh, also I totally missed this, but the stand also comes with these two edge guards and this goes on the bottom of your Cintiq. So, oh. And before we actually get started, I always like to test new tablet displays with the detail technique. You know, I look at old artwork, I look at the colors and the brightness and the vibrance. This is a piece I just released. Zoom in, see how it looks. Ooh, it looks pretty nice, look at that. The colors look accurate. And that's one thing I really admire about IMAX or Wacom products is they really take a lot of integrity and detail in how the colors are perceived. Yeah, the most important thing I look for with tablets is the response rate. How smooth is the response rate? And this one is pretty nice. You guys can see that, right? Watch. To be absolutely honest, no technology is ever perfect. You know, every product is gonna have some sort of a small flag with response rate. If I can get close to the one-to-one -one ratio, then I'm a satisfied customer. And this one, uh, yeah, it looks really, really good so far. A lot of you guys know that I'm religiously working on my book Nima this year, and this is an original character from Nima's world. Her name is Sloane. <laughs> this is why you read instruction manuals. You ever this thing right here? Where you plug it in? So I just learned that there are extra nibs inside this thing. What the heck, I didn't even know that. Look, look at this, you see those nibs? That's so freaking cool. This is a one-stop shop. This is like your changing nib station. So you put it in and then you tilt it. And plus the camera, whoa! Guys, you see that? Look at that. Ah! My bad. Well, we just lost one, but the cool thing is we have like three more. So we're just gonna slide out like that 
and we're gonna take one to replace. And now your nib is replaced. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep refining this real quick and I'll check back soon. Welcome back, and here's the progress of uh, the piece of Sloan so far. This is about an hour, an hour and a half of painting. We got the colors down, the composition, but I feel like uh, it's missing something. Oh, wait a minute. What is a rough draws video without some color dodge? Milo, what time is it? It's color dodge time. It's color dodge time. Oh, oh man, here we go. Here we go, Sloan. <laughs> Give me a nice attack. I hope you enjoyed the new character from my book, Nima. Uh, you can see the final piece on my social at Ross Jaws. Working on the new Cintiq was a lot of fun. You know, the colors look great. It looks accurate. The response time was quick. I worked on this in complete broad sunlight. So I've been having James kind of stand right here as I film. James, move real quick. Look at all that sun. Oh my gosh. Thanks, James. Go back. MVP. Even in broad sunlight, I was able to work because it has an anti-glare film. My only real complaint is that the price of the stand is $80. If you're on a budget, that can be kind of pricey. The upside is the stand is a nice quality and makes for the best drawing experience. I know some of you are seeing if this one's the right one for you or are looking to purchase your very first Cintiq. And I know that there are so many options to choose from and Pro 32, there's the 24, 16, 13, the 22 HD, I, I have the 27 and there's probably a few more, but this one was built for the sole purpose of being an affordable entry to the Cintiq line. Yeah, I think it's a fantastic option and you can't go wrong. And if you're thinking about getting a Cintiq 16, Wacom is giving all my fans a free stand. I just enter yeah. the code ROSSDRAWS when you check out. There's more info on all of that in my description. This code is valid for two weeks starting today, and I'm really sorry, US members only. But the good news is, we have a Cintiq 16 to give away. Yeah. Yes, and this one, anyone can enter, anyone around the world. Rule number one, follow Wacom on Twitter, and rule number two, answer the question of the video. If you were on a deserted island, what three things would you bring? I'll probably bring Milo, um, popcorn. I love popcorn. And three, lots of fresh underwear. Yeah. I love just warm underwear against your skin. It just feels so nice and clean. But yeah, let me know in the comments below and we'll choose a very, very, very lucky subscriber to give this antique to. I'll also sign and draw on the box too, so good luck. Yeah, I hope you enjoy the review. And if you get one of these antiques, I hope you enjoy it as much as me and Milo do. Right, buddy? You like it, huh? Mwah. Don't forget to subscribe. Remember, every day is a color dodge day. Oh.